when to bug out. Obviously, we're talking about a last resort situation because you're always going to be better off if you can just stay at home because you're legally allowed to be there and it's where loved ones and friends know where they can uh, find you in the event that technology fails, such as solar flare. You've got tools, food, supplies, and it's familiar and easy to identify if something is out of place. I can go on and on and on about reasons why it's safer to stay home, but that's not what this video is about, so let's get into it. First and foremost, don't forget that they've gone through great lengths to shut this channel down. They are resentless in their attempts to destroy this channel. So far, these lengths began with throwing my husband in prison. Then they attempt to starve me out by shutting down my PayPal and my husband's PayPal. And then the latest attack is financial once again by demonetizing my channel until further notice. Who knows when that'll be, um, if ever. This is essentially uh, stopping my ability to make money uh, through my videos. So currently the only source of income um, that me and my family have is for those of you who support us by shopping at OnlyTacticalFans.com. So uh, thank you guys all so much for that. Deciding to evacuate from your current location during an emergency is a critical decision that can cost you your life if not executed at the right time. Because if you wait too long, it could be too late to bug out. Say for instance, if your house is already surrounded by fire or floating down the river, and you don't want to bug out too early, either because your kids would be pissed if you pulled them out of school early and locked them in your uh, hunting cabin up north, all because the fucking price of bread increased by 10 cents, and uh, then you walk down and the soda aisle and there was like no Mountain Dew left. And while yes, this may be traumatic for most of you, I promise you it ain't the end of the world. So let's explore some situations where it may be appropriate to bug out, like severe weather events such as hurricanes, floods, or uh, lightning induced wildfires are not always clear indicators that it may be time to bug out. It's best to use your common sense while assessing the emergency because you know your situation better than anyone else. And also, evacuation may have been done in uh, a blanket fashion. Civil unrest, including riots, protests, or political instability can escalate quickly and pose a significant risk to personal safety. If you find yourself in an area experiencing widespread um, unrest, it may be safer to bug out to a more secure location. The good news is you can easily call this stuff usually in advance. Even if you're not a news watcher, uh, typically you have plenty of warning before a riot happens because it'll be all over social media. You can usually guess the area it'll be in and the magnitude of the situation. Now, this is a different type of bug out because in this instance, we ain't going to the hunting cabin up north. Uh, we're going to Auntie Renee's, AKA the rich, entitled, single, single favorite aunt uh, with a Olympic size indoor pool and the theater complete with popcorn machine. You'll more than likely be spending a night or three here while you see if things go either full on Kenosha or until the threat blows over. Next, you have the political instability side of things because we don't have a lot of experience in this, so it'll be hard to predict. And this would be a situation where you'd uh, barricade yourself in your hunting cabin up north. Hazmat incidences, chemical spills, or environmental disasters can release dangerous substances into the air or water, posing health risks to nearby residents for years to come. If you're in an affected area, follow official instructions and evacuate like immediately. Now, this type of bug out situation is one of the more terrifying because it's likely gonna happen with like little to no warning. Um, it can be as simple as an accident on the interstate you live next to or something more like traumatic, um, like a train derailing spilling 350,000 gallons of chemical X 
that catches fire and turns into um, toxic aerosol. In this type of bug out, you'd rather gather a few keepsakes such as family pictures, uh, collect insurance on the rest, and hop in your car and go and start a new uh, life elsewhere. Other reasons for bugging out include structural damage to your home or shelter, the loss of essential utilities such as like water or electricity, or the deterioration of public safety and in infrastructure in your area. Uh, stay vigilant and be prepared to act quickly. Uh, the good news is many of us already been in this bug out situation during our late teens, early 20s, so you'd already know what to do. Call your parents and ask to move in temporarily until you get back on your feet. And just like your first apartment, when the power and water has been shut off for nearly a month now, the party last night got a little out of hand and uh, the front door got broken down and someone actually dropped a candle. So now there's a big ass burn spot in your carpet. And to add insult to injury, there is an eviction notice tape to said broken door. The best part of this bug out situation is that we're not on a time crunch. This is one of the few times where you can actually take everything you own and not be in a rush to do so. Knowing when to bug out requires careful assessment of the situation and the ability to recognize and respond to uh, potential threats. By staying informed, prepared, and proactive, you can increase your chances of staying safe and secure during like emergencies. A little bit of pre-planning, foresight, and preparation goes a long way. You know, like actually having a place to go, and it doesn't even have to be a bunker or a, a hunting cabin up north. You could just simply go to a family member or close friends, um, a small convo over a cozy Thanksgiving meal goes a long way. For example, like, hey Carl, not saying that anything bad will happen, but let's say it did. Would it be okay if me and the kids showed up to your house with a little to no warning? And then transition that conversation to him either giving you uh, a spare key or telling you where his hiding place is for emergency purposes only. And remember to never disrespect or abuse that key because it's your fucking life. So yeah, tell me what you guys think down in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe. And if you guys would like to continue to support this channel, there'll be links down in the description. And as always, I appreciate you guys and thank you guys so much for uh, being so loyal to me, my family, and all the support. Um, I, I We couldn't have done it without you guys. So um, I really appreciate that. And so does my husband and obviously my kids. Um, so yeah, thank you. And until next time, guys. Oh, I thought you were sleeping. Liberty. You're a dumbass. You're not gonna get them. This is unacceptable. Do you understand me? Unacceptable. Vader, quiet. Come on, you're the good boy. Hey! Vader, come on. I just called you a good boy. Are you stuck? Well, come over here, you dumbass. Oh, forget about it. I'm just like talking to a brick wall. It's like talking to the fucking government prosecutor. You ain't getting nowhere. You guys are assholes. Seriously, you guys do this just to torment me. To shut this channel down. Come on, Poppy. Oh no, you're done. You're done, Finch fuckers. Hey, I missed that sound. Current location, fuckers, stop are not always uh, let's redo this part more like traumatic like a like a you guys are gonna go to the loony house you guys wanna go to the loony house because you're about to go there quiet quiet